wanted to make this video as a supplement to what's already out there for replacing uh, the actuator on the uh, 2015 and up Taos, Bourbons. Um, for reference, mine is a 2016 and it's got 56,000 miles. And I already this thing wouldn't open once uh, got the temperatures dropped. It, it uh, was doing weird stuff. It wouldn't close. Um, but anyway, this did fix it. So first I just bought this one, the right side, because it's like 50, 60 bucks on eBay. And um, wasn't sure if I even needed that. You could probably get away without doing it, but I would, I would do them both. But um, easy enough. I just wanted to get familiar with that first. These are definitely easy to take off, especially the old ones. You put the screwdriver in there, just pull it off. Doesn't matter if you ruin the old one. And um, the new ones come with it in it and they come out much easier so that you're not gonna bend it or anything. You take that off, pops off the joint. Take this one off, pops off the joint. Put it back on and uh, you're good to go. Anyway, this one, requires taking off this panel and sorry wrong panel this panel and the issue I ran into with this panel was getting my fingers I think it started behind here because I always worry about breaking stuff I, I'm not I don't take paneling off uh, regularly, so. Um, put my, got my fingers behind there, I ended up cutting them, but uh, pulling this off. But the, the major issue was here. Um, it, it starts to show itself that there's like a um, connecting sort of piece underneath to this. And it looks like it's joined that way, but it's not, it actually comes out this so you want to pull it this way once you get once you get these out you have to loosen all this a little bit you want to sort of pull it that way i ended up going that way and i broke a little piece off in there <coughs> um not the not the end of the world um this was interesting just in in the build quality how there's more coil behind this so that it, they it's too short from the factory not not the end of the world but anyway that was once that's off it's a piece of cake same thing pop it off pop it off put it put it in this it just um goes right in and then there's a connector here and you'll see it's super super easy um you don't have to take anything really uh, apart um, this, uh, one tip with this is that the four corners, and you'll see it on the old one. This is the old one, by the way. <coughs> um, the four corners, see the tabs? So you gotta try and get your screwdriver in there <coughs> and sort of slowly, one by one, pop those to get it out. <coughs> but that is basically how this looks and then it comes in there and then it connects right there uh -huh. underneath there and um it is working good now and what i did notice when i did do this side you can hear the um, sort of gas releasing where i didn't hear it before so let's just give it a run Can you hear that? Anyway, that wasn't there. So about 200 bucks all in all and uh, fix it. I have no idea what the dealer charges, but if you are kind of handy, semi handy, you can do this <laughs> and save probably a ton of money. Um, anyway, I will, I will link to the um, part numbers and the other videos this video just to help you um, 
this was a chorgasm. It's all good.